So one of the things I get asked a lot is how do you build your career as a mediator, as an arbitrator, or as an adjudicator? So in this video, we're going to have a look at how do you structure your CV, how do you build your reputation, and how do you manage your brand to make sure that you get booked. So you're an arbitrator, a mediator or an adjudicator, you've done your training, you've got your credentials, but how do you actually build a business? Well there's a few things that you need to think about in terms of building a practice in dispute resolution. The first thing is you need to continue learning and growing. That can mean going on academic courses, but it's also about growing within yourself, building your self-confidence. So going on courses which may be nothing to do with your professional qualifications, maybe something like skydiving even, or but something that really takes you outside your comfort zone and helps you grow as a person, as well as taking these academic qualifications. The second thing is, think about networking. How can you network with other professionals so that you can learn from them? But also how can you network again outside your comfort zone? How can you meet people where you learn about other industries and other things that interest you? The next thing then is to think about your CV. What does your CV look like? How are you selling yourself to others? And you may have a website as well. And I have a phrase here, which is it's about talent, not title. We do need to know that you're qualified uh, and clients need to know that you're qualified to practice in the area. But what's really unique about you? What's special about you? What are your talents? What are your virtues? It's much more interesting to know why are you particularly qualified and interested in this area that you're practicing in? And the final thing, which I think is so important, I call put your hand up, not out. Very often when we've gone through training, we say, well, where is the work? You know, who's going to provide me with the work? The answer is, if you put your hand up, you're volunteering, you're going to speak at events, you're offering to help mentor colleagues and clients. Just where can you be of service to others and help you to meet other people by putting your hand up, not out? So the Chartered Institute provide opportunities for ongoing learning and growing through their academic qualifications and networking at their events and their branch events. So contact the Chartered Institute, look at the website to see what's coming up.